All right, listen here, dickheads. I've got a problem with each and every one of you and the way you say your phone number, because I know you all do this. You all start your phone number, you say 07. Listen here, O, oh, it's not a number. Uh, I'm actually a math student. Probably didn't need to say that, because you're all definitely racist. Uh, but yeah. Why, why are we saying, oh, it's a letter? So why are we saying it in our phone number, huh? Are we saying it because it's the shortened version of zero? You know, zero, O? Oh? In which case, why don't we uh, shorten all single digit multi syllable numbers? Uh, but they don't know what they can do, those seven. So by the same pro, seven. In which case, your phone number starts zero, o, se, o, oven. So what I'm saying is, you either say zero seven, or you say oven. <laughs> it's just consistency. <laughs> at, at what age do old people stop falling over and start having falls? Uh, that's not actually what I wanted to talk about. What I did want to talk about uh, was how much I disappoint my Asian mother, because uh, it's my favorite pastime. But I realized that you guys have probably all heard that sort of stuff before. Not because you all have Asian mothers to which you are a disappointment. Uh, I'm sure many of you live up to their expectations. It's just that it's just quite a played out stereotype, you know, the strict Asian mum and the catchphrases. You can Google Asian mum catchphrases, you get a whole load of stuff, you know. Uh, do better in school. Why haven't you got a girlfriend? Yeah, stuff. My personal favourite. Um, ooh, now that you're at Bristol and not Cambridge, you're at a crap university. You're not going to get a good job. I'm so glad we wasted all of our money on your education. I don't know why English people say well done when you haven't done well. Uh, so the website that I got that last one off uh, was my own Facebook Messenger. Guys, uh, my vocabulary is so bad, it's so bad, it's, it's bad. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. Um, I've got an impression for you guys, something that fills me with the deep regret and guilt every time I do it. Here we go, let's just, just bear with me. I've got a big stage, I'll play around with this. Hang on. Uh, okay, so for those of you who didn't get what that was, uh, that's when you accidentally step on a snail. Uh, and it just fills me with the most regret. I, I hate every, every time I do it. Imagine if a whole foot just destroyed your whole house and you in one step. You'd be mentally and physically crushed. It, I, it's just so horrible, and this is why I start to doubt myself, because I get filled with this immense regret and guilt every time I accidentally kill snails. But when I killed this one guy, Derek, I felt nothing. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> I bet that's what you all think we do. <laughs> you should see how I pleasure women, Christ. I feed them noodles. I feed them noodles into the ma- Get filthy. Uh, I've got a quite interesting last name, if I do say so myself. Tricky. It's quite fun. Uh, only problem with that name is that uh, it gives everyone around me the same banter as a year eight teacher. You know, they start saying stuff like, oh, your name must be Tricky to sp Fuck off, Mr. Griffiths. <laughs> you know, I I've always wondered where Tricky comes from. Because it's, it's not an occupational last name like Baker or The Ripper, you know, so... <laughs> no idea where it comes from. I don't know. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what I do know. I do know where my first name comes from. Uh, you see, so, uh, my dad wanted a name that could be pronounced by both English and Asian people, because I'm half Asian. Um, it's this half.
ladies. Uh, anyone who gets that joke is a massive racist. Uh, Okay, so yeah, my, my dad wanted a name that we could, could be pronounced by both English and Asian people. So he went out to Cambodia and he said, you guys, you guys have James Bond out here? He said, yeah, great, James, we'll slap that on. Uh, but as I was growing up, Asian people, including my own mum, would call me Jame. Uh, you know, my mum would say stuff like, Jame, brush your teeth. Jame, do your homework. Jame, you're looking sexy tonight. <laughs> All right, thanks. It's not for you, mum. Uh, uh, yeah, so, uh, you know, I got to the stage where the Cambodians wouldn't even write the S. I'd get letters addressed to, to Jame. What's that all about? So me and my dad, we had enough of this. Uh, and we, so we called up Cambodia and we said, listen, I've, I am sick and tired of you calling my son James. His name is James. Like the character James Bond, you know, double oven. He's, um... Yeah, like the character James Bond. He's got his catchphrase, you know? My name is Bond, James Bond. Uh, unfortunately, that's not what Cambodian people hear. What the Cambodian people hear is, my name is Spond, James <laughs> Spond. Uh, which is an unfortunate misunderstanding. I have to... It's actually not as bad as my middle name. I used to get bullied a lot for my middle name, uh, which is Bedwetter, okay. Uh, <laughs> I've been James Stricky. Uh, fuck, I know. You guys have all been racist, probably. Ah, uh, fucking who knows. Uh, thank you very much. Good night.